Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Fitz Tightly, and this is my review of Johnny Toe's Breaking News. A squad of police officers are staking out a building where a group of armed robbers are preparing for their next job. When things go south, a gigantic standoff ensues involving six suspects, a few dozen citizens, and about a hundred Hong Kong cops. Richie Jen plays Yoon, the leader of the armed robbers. He and his colleagues are from mainland China, which reminds us that 2004 was 10 years ago. If that doesn't remind you, there are two other criminals who also speak Mandarin. Nick Chung Kafai plays Inspector Chung. I know. He's the leader of the police staking out the building. Kelly Chen plays Superintendent Rebecca Fong, who feels that this standoff requires an unusually open approach to dealing with the news media. Responding officers are fitted with cameras, and Superintendent Fong's command center looks like the production booth at a major network. As the situation becomes more complex, it also turns into a media circus. The film opens with an extremely long and technically complex shot that involves movement, gunfire, stunts, and special effects. It's not only impressive technically, but dramatically as well. It certainly ups the ante from the elevator shot from Hard Boiled. The entire story takes place in less than a day, and I really liked the level of detail that such a brief narrative stretch allows for. Because the story takes place within a single day, the narrative can spend a lot of time letting characters breathe, grow, and develop. That said, I don't think that the relationships in the film necessarily work all that well. The culinary moment of bromance between Richie Jen and Yo Young comes off more as a parody of John Woo than anything else. Even the brief exchange between Richie Jen and Kelly Chen seems kind of flat. The easy way out of that would be to blame Kelly Chen, who's not exactly the most charismatic of actors. But the lines that she and Richie have to trade don't really help much either. Lam Suet was very entertaining and convincing as Yip, a taxi driver taken hostage with his children. In accordance with the basic law of Hong Kong, Maggie Shu turns up in the film as a police officer, like she always does. But I don't mind looking at Maggie Shu, so I was okay with it. Simon Yam Tatwa and Eddie Chung Su Fai also turn up in the film in small roles that are still very well done. I enjoyed watching Nick Chung Ka Fai in his role as a cop with a work ethic that would make John McClane seem lazy. His drive and single-mindedness are really admirable. Of course, those qualities make him something of an asshole, but that's part of what makes him so interesting. His incessant pursuit of the criminals, again, almost borders on parody, but it's still entertaining and that's really all that I ask. I enjoyed watching Breaking News and I think you would too. In the description, there's a link where you could buy a disc. I would recommend doing that because that way you'll get to watch all the extras. If you enjoyed this review, please leave me a comment. If you didn't enjoy the review, leave me a comment. If you enjoy this channel, please subscribe because that way you'll get notified when new videos are released. Thank you for watching. I'm filming this review in the first week of August here in Hong Kong. And believe me, it's very hot and very humid outside. It's too hot and too humid to go out to do a location shoot. And the place that I was going to show you has changed a lot since they made breaking news, but it's still easy to find. The buildings are located just north of Austin MTR station, and you can get to them via the elevated walkways. The area in front of the buildings where the bus terminus is in the movie has changed quite a bit, but the buildings are still there, and they're quite easy to see and recognize. Thanks again for watching.